Um, Mableton family wants answers tonight after someone shot and killed their loved one at a Union City gas station. Good evening and thanks so much for watching. I'm Christine Spiro. Larry Potts' girlfriend was in the car with him and watched the shooting in horror. Fox News Angelique Proctor joins us from the Union City Police Department where detectives Angelique are searching for a killer. That's right. You know, good afternoon. Larry Potts actually grew up in a very big family. He is one of 12 children. And as you can imagine, his brothers and sisters are heartbroken. They are also on their way here to the Union City Police Department to get answered. Are uh, any of the public shootings gliders? Like, it seems like almost every single shooting that happens in public is the same. If it's not like court, you know, a planned mass shooting, no, is the short answer. Yeah, it's just crazy. My like hair is cute. I'm sorry. Oh, Larry, he was outgoing. Yeah, he was out there. Funny, very funny and goofy. Like, he loved to crack jokes. He was very <laughs> ambitious. He was always striving to make everybody happy. Larry Potts had. It, that's a red flag. It never fails. That's not a red flag. That's that's the only flag. That's the red. <laughs> he was funny, um, <laughs> and funny, and yeah, he loved to make us laugh. He was funny. Translation: He's emotional. Yeah, he ain't smiling in none of these photos. Yeah, he don't look funny. That's crazy. They literally say that every time. Every hey, they might say that about me when I die. So. I yeah, they definitely will say that about you. They're gonna definitely say she was funny. Now they better say she was a good wife and mother and she was funny. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'll be better, man. Yeah, that'd be better. Funny, very funny and goofy. Like he loved to crack jokes. He was very ambitious. He was always striving to make everybody happy. Larry Potts had most of his life ahead of him. The 19-year-old was the youngest baby boy of 12 children and always looked out for his mother. His sister, Kaya, says this is a huge loss. He, he always had fun, fun and enjoy life. He was very popular, like very popular. He was known for being a silly, goofy kid, loving, always helping. He loved to beat the homeless. Union City Police tell us five to beat the homeless. shot and killed the pop. Feed. Oh. Uh. He probably love to beat the homeless, too. Yeah, I mean, you know. At the QT on Jonesboro Road, March 25th, Potts' girlfriend was in the car and tells police a man in a white Kia kept following them. The woman says they pulled over at the QT because it was well lit. A police report indicates Potts was walking towards the entrance of the QT when he was approached by the man in the white Kia. The two had words, then the suspect opened fire. Potts returned fire, but the suspect got away. Now the he returned fire, Mossy. He was packing, Mossy, Mossy. Um, anything to say about this? The guy was packing. He sees a guy following him. Um, he, him and his girlfriend. He he pulls over to the QT because it's well lit. What would you would you have? What would you have done in this situation, Mossy? Was he, uh, was he on foot the whole time? Was the guy oh, following on foot or was he in the car? Mom, Mom, you heard the same video we heard. You act like I know that, like I got some inside information and shit. I just, this is the first time I've seen this video just like you, man. Let me, let me play it again, man. All right. He was very ambitious. He was always striving to make everybody happy. Larry Potts had most of his life ahead of him. The 19 year old was the youngest baby boy of 12 children and always looked out for his mother. His sister Kaya says children. this is a huge loss. He, he always had fun, fun and enjoy life. He was very popular, like very popular. He was known for being a silly, goofy kid, loving, always help. Oh, he loved to feed the homeless. Union City Police tell Fox 5 someone shot and killed Potts at the QT on Jonesboro Road, March 25th. Potts' girlfriend was in the car and tells police a man in a white Kia kept following them. The woman says they pulled over at the QT because it was well lit. 
A police report indicates Potts was walking towards the entrance of the QT when he was approached by the man in the white Kia. The two had words, then the suspect opened fire. Potts returned fire, but the suspect got away. This year, Marcy. Anytime this anytime before January first is next year, Marcy. If I knew as someone was if I knew as someone who was after me, then I'd be on I'd be on alert. And if I saw this person approach if I knew she was following me and he tried to come he, he approached me inside of a well lit area, then see see if I can be fast, you know, if I'm faster on the draw, cool. If he's faster than me, I have to be moving to keep him from getting a good shot on me. So you would have pulled over in this well lit place because you thought somebody was following you and left your girl in the car alone? Oh no. No, I wouldn't do that. If they asked me what I would do, you know, like up until the point where the guy approached them, I mean that's I would think of if this if this, it's like some, I mean they exchanged words and probably knew him. So I don't know what I don't know what he was involved in, but they must have the guy must have knew him. I think he was involved in the gang. Yeah. Or, you know, just some regular Sun Man shit. Yeah, Marcy, you yeah. choked, man. You supposed to be a uh, gun gun survival expert, man. You sound like goddamn Dilbert or some shit trying to explain this shit, man. Now the family wants to know what happened. Yeah, that's why I'm going to get answers. That's why I'm going today now today to speak to the detective. Again, all of my brothers and sisters came down, so we all are gonna go get an answer. And we are here waiting for them to arrive. Family members also tell me that they are going to have a candlelight vigil for Larry uh, this evening at a park in Ostel. We are live in Union. Salute to them for not doing a balloon release. You don't know that they. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, yeah right. That's what she's thinking. I, I wouldn't bet against it. You like at that. four and yeah, only. I would. I would almost guarantee they're gonna do a balloon release there, but. Um, that's just what they just like. He's funny and silly and goofy. The blue release is <laughs> he automatic. Could, that. He could keep a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, uh, oh, God. Hey, are you afraid? Of, are you fearful of firearms? And two. Am I fearful of hell? Yes, I'm fearful of firearms. Yes, I'm scared of firearms. The, the oh, I didn't people. Know. The people that I was around, Marcy, the people I was around, if they have firearms or when they have firearms, it's just not safe. Now, I don't know where you're at, who you're around, because you use the Kevin Samuel Scott Adams method. You stay away. But me, I was around sons all the fucking time. Okay? All the time. When I'm around gliders, I tell you I'm around gliders. I was around sons all the fucking time. It's not safe. And I don't feel like a coward. I don't feel like softy. I don't feel like I'm dissing the Second Amendment. Sons and guns do not go together. Period. Go ahead, Monsi. What you got to say about that? Nothing. I mean, that's. I was always all I wanted to know. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know you. I didn't know you. I didn't know you're fearful of them. That's all. Yes, I'm fearful of them in the person's hands. Am I fearful of it just sitting on the table? No. Am I serious, fearful of it in the lockbox? No. Am I fearful of it in the driver's? Thing? Am I fearful of it? In the glove compartment? No. Am I fearful of it in a fucking psychopathic son man's hands? Yes. Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know if you and Mafi saw, but I sent both of you guys a news article today. It was okay. regarding a. It was regarding a. I think he was a son man who had a. He was open carrying, and he went to a gas station, and another son man tried to take his gun, and he actually took it from him. The guy chased him. Another son man popped out and gunned him down. Let me see. So, that. I mean, you sent that to me today. 
Yeah, I sent it. it's an article, but I sent it to you and Mossy. Did you see it, Mossy? No, I didn't see it. 37-year-old man. Okay, I see it. 37-year-old man. Uh, I'll play that next. Um, <laughs> God, dog. It was like an April 1st, so it just happened. But that's kind of what I think you're, you're – that's what I think I can say, my see. Uh, I mean, if you're with people that are respon- responsible gun owners, that is, that's not an issue. But that's not what well, I think we're not talking about that. Yeah, Marcy lives, it's it's kind of like he lives in a world where it's just different, man. He he doesn't operate in the same um, rules as we all do, you know? You just, you operate under a different, like, set of um that's good though, because that means that you're not around son. You wouldn't be talking like that if you was around son. I promise you you would. Um but yeah, so yeah, you're around people that are responsible. You're around people that are like shoot once if you go down, they'll like talk to you. Hey, don't move, kick, drop the gun, kick the gun to the side. I, I'm a son man. I was around people that would just hit somebody two blocks away and maybe hit you. <laughs> might hit you. But they definitely hit somebody two blocks away. Um so you yeah I'm I'm afraid of guns mostly. I ain't like I'm afraid of guns man. Um let's see what Kevin Cam got to say man. Kevin Samuels man guys let me tell you something about the YouTuber this but this space is so small this space is so small. Almost no one has heard about anything about what everybody's over here freaking out about. Kevin Samuels, man, he used to tell me all the time. He was like, get out from around these niggas. <laughs> that it will keep you down. YouTube is humongous. I had a girlfriend at the time when I was dating Kevin. When I was I was dating a girl when when uh, me and Kevin started communicating on the Uh-oh. phone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stupid man! He made a he made a Floydian slip, man. That was a Floydian slip, man. What are you talking about, man? Pause. Man, he said, nah, he oh. was right. He was dating Kevin. Go ahead, brown sugar, man. That guy, that was a Freudian slip, man. Come on, man. No. That was a Freudian slip, brown sugar. No, it wasn't. Brown sugar, that was a Freudian slip. I don't yeah. know what Floridian slip is. I just know the man said he dated Kevin. I believe that part. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> man, Kevin Savage was dating that girl that he um he was with the night in question, man. Don't breathe her. Yeah, man, whoever she was, Hawaiian or some shit, I don't know what the fuck she was, but she was dating that girl, man, and this guy, you know, what the hell you talking about? Oh, you trying to, you trying to, trying to put a rumor out there, man, bro? It's a shame on you, man. Shame hey, on the you, man, bro. the one said he dated Kevin. <laughs> shame on you, man. It's just shameful, man. He did say that. He said, I dated Kevin. And I believe him. Right, a forging (laughs) forging slip, right? That's what what that means. That's what it means, bro. Yeah, it was a mistake. That means that he, that means a true snuck out. It was a slip of the tongue. It was a slip of the tongue. No no pun intended. But it was, I don't think that guy dated Kevin. I think that guy was just friends with Kevin, but he, mm. he got some good information. He's the one who relayed to us that Kevin was not down with the brown, man. <laughs> he wasn't, he was he on wasn't, that Yeah, he wasn't with all that dumb blackity black stuff, man. A suspect stole his gun at a local gas station. Mm-hmm. It happened yet. Right now, police say a man died after a suspect stole his gun at a local gas station. It happened yesterday at the Shell Station. Remember we talked to you about that, Marcy? We talked to you about this, Marcy. That open yeah. carry stuff, it does not do what you think it does. It's not intimidating. It doesn't make you look like a badass. It makes sons think, oh, shit, I can give me a gun. 
station yeah. on Flint River Road in Clayton County. Police say the victim tried to fight the suspect to get it back, but then another suspect showed up and just started shooting. Police arrested one of them, Chris Irvin. The other suspect... Black is like a battle royale, man. Think about this, though. Let's just think about this, right? You're this guy, right? You're somewhere. You may say you're riding around, smoking weed, enjoying your life, listening to some goddamn little dirt or some shit for some little baby. About to go see some bitch. You know what I'm saying? And one of your buddies is at a store. He sees a guy open carrying, so he takes the guy's gun, physically takes the guy's gun from him. The guy tries to fight him to get it back. He calls you, hey man, I'm up to such and such. I'm up to quick trip. Nigga, I'll be faking. Da, 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 da. You pull up, immediately hop out the car and just start dumping on the guy, kill him, and now you're going to jail for the rest of your life. It's just that is a normal thing. And that's why Marcy, when Marcy says, are you kidding, good man? Hell <laughs> yes. <laughs> In these motherfuckers' hands? Hell what yes. About, what about your hands? Am I, I'm clumsy, man. I don't know. I've been clumsy the last couple of years, man. As I get older, I get clumsy. I got to tighten up. But I will tell you this. I carry mace. I carry the type of mace that would fucking fucking blind you and i carry a fucking keep a nigga off me blade so i'm not just like out there naked because i don't care i don't carry do anything to a some man no that was locked up no listen to what i'm saying <laughs> i'm saying like they got maced all the time and stuck in prison you think no, this gonna do anything no but listen to what i'm saying brown sugar i'm talking about just for conflicts, I'm not talking about like for like that that that's going fucking like if it's a mass shoot, I'm a running. Don't everyone stand back? I'll run in the building with my mason. No, I'm just talking about like when they jump on me, he won't feel. He like, oh shit, what the fuck was that? Ah! Like I mean, like that's just, it's just for that. Everything can't be everything can't be handled with guns just like with this guy just like we've seen with the stories tonight having guns doesn't always protect you carrying and shit like that it doesn't always protect you and me the type of person i am the type of sun man i am where i come from or the cloth i'm cut from me with a gun and a nigga get to talk to shit or a nigga get to doing some shit i'm likely to have to be in some kind of turmoil not to shoot him because that's kind of like my mindset like you talk shit you i agree not. with you act i agree with you yeah. too because um like even on the panel with the old girl <laughs> like had it been in person and i <laughs> and i had a gun on me <laughs> i would have aired that whole place up. <laughs> mm. yeah we'd all be dead or not well, that. I gotta say, I respect that. If you know, if you know, if you know that you're not comfortable enough to carry one, I respect the fact that you don't do it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I it's, would, not even, it's, I, I, it's not. It's, it's like I'm saying. I, I'm saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make fun. I wouldn't call you a coward. I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make fun of you or anything like that because that's that's kind of productive. But I will say I respect the fact that you you're honest. That you're honest about yourself. You know, you, you're honest. You're honest about that part of yourself. I respect that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Salute to um Steph and um Yerbo, man. Salute to everybody. Well, salute to the few people hitting that cash app and hitting that super chat, hitting that PayPal. Salute to the few of you guys, man. That's doing that, man. Appreciate you guys. Um, this is a new name, Yerbo, man. Salute to the new name, man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, I I, I just think Marcy, you just you have a luxury of 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 of, of not being proximal and here's the thing too i'm not a thug i'm not even in that age frame like when i was let's just say 18 to 33 or something like that or 35 let's even say 18 to 35 or 15 to 35 during that time 
the way I look, the way I walk, my bop, my conversation put me in a certain class of people where your life ain't going to be valued because they, they think you just another nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Now, the way I carry myself, the way I dress, the way I move, the, my conversation, I'm out of the nigga game as far as like wearing the things that they wear, their uniform, their shoes. Because the hood niggas wear a uniform. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, yeah, they, yeah, they got that swag. They got that, uh, I'll snatch the, you're going to have your holster swag. <laughs> exactly. So this guy right here, I know several guys like it. He might not be a fucking guy who got a bunch of this could be his first body. This could be this guy's first body. It don't he don't have to have been a fucking killer. All he knows is that his homeboy called him, come up there, and he wanna, you know, appear to be a badass and be with the shit. And also, here's another thing most of you don't understand, and I'm going to move along. When a son man gets a gun, let's just say you're a son man. Let's just say I buy a gun, right? And I'm around some niggas, and I just bought a gun. And they know I got a gun. Now, what do I have the gun for? Am I going to let if some nigga talk shit to me? Now, if a nigga talk shit to me, they looking like, all right, we about to go get that nigga, right? Like, nah, man, nah, just let that shit slide. What the fuck? You just bought a gun. Like, some mm -hmm. think the gun is actually for stuff. The gun ain't just to have, Marcy. The gun is for shit. Hey, Marcy, <laughs> do, you, do you think you would uh, do you think you would open carry in black or something? Yeah. Yeah, I would. So you would be in like like that's the about, victim in this case. That's about that's about had to open carry in Blackistan. And, and and I just read the story. I just read the article you sent um in the email. Right. It didn't, yeah, it didn't this say one here. all it said was it was all it said was in, it was on his hip. I don't know how I don't know I don't know how it was you, in a holster. It was in, I don't, what kind of holster? It, it, it was in the open carry holster. I don't know the guy. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's been years since I've seen the guy. I don't know what kind of holster he had, but it was an open carry holster. It said. And because uh, I don't think you see it, this this is, the, this is the holster I used, and no one. It's very very unlikely that anyone's snatching anything out of my hip when I'm if I'm carrying my gun in this holster. Well, Marcy, it so, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Marcy. What if he yeah. tries though? It's the attempt. You're talking about like, like once he puts his hand on your gun, and you're struggling yeah. with him. You're in a fucked up situation. You're in a chaotic situation. It's right. up. Your heartbeat's racing. Your mind's racing. You're looking around. No one's going to help you. It's just you and him. And he's a fucking savage. And you're, I guess, what? you're Rambo, but he's a savage. I'm not a Rambo. I'm a, I'm a man that wants to go home to his wife. But, but my and I'll, and I'll, yeah. And I'll, and I'll and I'll do anything I have to do to get the, to to achieve that goal. That's it. I don't. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. No, I like, I, he I, even, I, he I, doesn't I, even I, have I, to grab me. He he could just I, point I, his gun at you when he sees yours and says, "Give me that bitch." And what are you gonna do, Master? You're gonna give it to him, or he'll kill you. He should give it to him. What what I'm saying, Master, is that or I kill yeah. or I kill him. Well, what I, I mean, he has a gun to your face, Marcy. It's like so? a, he has a jump on you. Well, so what? Because so what? Because I don't. I mean, if I give it up to him, is that that's no guarantee he's not going to kill me? Well, it doesn't. But you're guaranteeing that he will try to kill you. Yeah, but Marcy, it fight. doesn't matter because he's got he's got a gun on you, and he's giving you the terms of. He's the one dealing the cards. Once once you get the drop on somebody. You're dealing the cards, and you have to fucking um, acquiesce to what they're saying. Because here's the thing, Marcy, he'll shoot you for hesitating. Yeah, he won't. He, you don't even have to make a move on some goddamn yo Sammy Sam shit. You just gotta hesitate. And he'll yeah, blow you away. Yeah, I don't think you understand. Like, it's a wild place. It's the, it's like the yeah. the wild wild west on steroids. Yeah, Marcy. I remember, Marcy I remember just, this. 
I remember there was a story that was shared about a guy who got carjacked. With two guys who, like, now, like I said, it's, it's up in the air. But there was a story in Chicago where a guy was getting, a guy was getting carjacked by two guys who had guns on him, and he took a chance and shot both of them, and saved, and he saved himself. So I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not saying that I will walk away without getting injured, without getting killed. I'm not saying he won't walk away without getting injured, or getting killed. I'm saying I'm not, I'm not just giving in to to to, to predators like that. It just is not happening. I, re- I refuse to let I refuse to let that happen. Even I when they got the drop on you, even if they got the drop on you, yeah, I ought, I ought not to let it happen because there's no guarantee that he's not going to kill me if I give it up. Well, I mean, there's a ninety percent chance but they, but if you they, get shit up, he's not going to kill you because you don't have a gun anymore and he took your gun. But then again, I stay away from niggas, so. No. And and that and that is it right there, my And that is it right there, my And that is it right there. Yeah, exactly. Let's go to um, Louisville, man. One man is dead after a shooting in the Russell neighborhood. Police were called out to 19th and Broadway near the KFC restaurant just before 7 tonight. A man who police say had been shot at least once was found dead inside a car. The investigation is ongoing. So far, no arrests have been made. Mm. This group of leaders is meeting to bring about change. Are you going to go to Memphis tonight? Oh, man, we just did Memphis the other day, man. Memphis is a... um, A beautiful city, I know. (laughs) Memphis is a show unto itself, man. 